Well, whenever they're whenever they're young like this, you can do it. You can reach up here and I'm gonna use the stockman's cane to pull the branch down. There we go. You get at these clusters of webs. This one here. So I'm going to take these guys before they can fall on the ground and get rid of them. If you got a propane torch, you can burn them out eventually. Uh, I'd have to get up here with a ladder, a step ladder maybe. Plus one of those little giants. Burn them out that way. You can use a oil spray around the trunk of the tree. Uh, earlier in the year, in the spring or so. In summer again, to keep the, the little worms from crawling up into the tree. That's what they do, these, these web worms. They crawl up into the tree, they build their tents, they eat the leaves. Uh, bad infestation can kill a tree. I right, take this bucket with that, that web in it. Let's put the cane down here for a moment. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so this is at the end. This is at the end of the life cycle of the fall webworm. And all throughout the inside here are these little cocoons. Those are little baby worms waiting to hatch out for next year. Well, we don't want that, so we're going to take these and we're going to we're going to dispose of them. Now, ordinarily, I'd be using my propane torch, but it's a bit windy out. I want to accidentally set something on fire. I just want to get these. Get these webs down before they before they fall. Well, hello there, good people. Hi, it's Jason with Green Country Agroforestry. I'm out here in the front yard tending to my pecan trees and taking care of a couple of chores. Obviously, I've got some, some weeds that need some pulling, but I also have down here a little pecan tree that got started from a nut that fell out of the tree last year. They covered it up with mulch and let nature do its thing, and I've now got a baby pecan tree. I've got a shovel here. This is designed for getting saplings out, little seedlings out like this one, but I'm not going to dig it up right now. What I'm going to do is wait for this sapling to go dormant but so I don't mistake it for a weed, especially after all the grass dies off. I'm going to take this little orange caution tape and just tie a couple of overhand knots here to mark it off. Just like so, that way I can find this after the leaves come off and I'll know that this is a pecan tree and I want to save this. If it was some other wild something that got sprouted, I'd, I'd go ahead and get rid of it. But I want to save the pecan trees. And this is a time of year the pecans are starting to fall. Let's see if I can find a couple. Oh yeah, we got a few over here. Let's see. Let me see. They're just starting too. There's one there. Here's another one. Ah, uh, bird got that one. This one's been very picked too. Let's see if the meat's still good inside there. Yeah, that's all right. Nah, got molded. 
Oh, there's another one. Three so far. Now, early on, mainly it's going to be these ones that that didn't mature that fall out of the tree early. Those ones, yeah, those are junk. We don't need those. We lost a few during that uh, during that hailstorm. Sometimes, if you like, you can look up in the tree branches about this time of year. You can find them like that. See, that one's no good. They should be starting to starting to open up. Let's have a look at this fella here. See how that that hole, that outer hole around the pecan. So the outer hole around the pecan is tight around the end. You can peel it off, but it's it's not releasing freely. I can guarantee you that net's no good. We'll throw it away. Right up here, if you have a look, this one here is still attached to the tree, and that I don't know if you can see it well or not. Hopefully, I got a little bit of light on it, but that uh, that hole is still tight and closed around it. It hasn't started to open up yet. That nut's still developing. It's not ready. That one's not ready yet. A couple over here that might be. All right, right up here on this branch, we've got this one here. Just pull it down. And I'm going to get this one too while I'm at it. All right. Here's a couple examples. I'll give you a couple examples here. So this one I just plucked off the tree. You notice how the hole is opened up. And it just falls away. Good breeze. And this nut would have fallen out of the tree all by its lonesome. This is going to be a good nut. This one, the hole is still green, but it's getting ready to fall away. This is going to be a good nut too. I'm out here at the edge of the patio where I'm going to put the grape arbor. I was kind of hoping to get it done this year, but you know, mother-in-law had an accident and fell down and got a broken arm and a broken back. And and taking care of her instead of doing a lot of the gardening and outdoor stuff. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to leave you guys hanging, but uh, you know, sometimes real life takes precedence over over internet stuff. But there's another tree marked. We'll dig that up whenever the leaves come off. It goes dormant. Yeah, this is a good time to pick up any brush. Make sure you don't have any of those webworm webs that have fallen down because you don't want them to let those little cocoons open up and let those worms come out and do horrible things to your trees next year. That's a good net. Put that in my pocket for now. There's another tree. Of course, it's still early on yet. A lot of these nuts haven't fallen. It's okay. Shoot, some of them won't fall all the way up until spring. They'll give the Blue Jays something to eat. They'll come in and pick them right out of the tree. You got fruit trees and you got nut trees, you're going to have birds. And the birds are going to eat a fair share of fruit and nuts and berries and things like that. But don't let that alarm you. Take this nut here for an example. This is what's left of it after one of those birds came by. I can tell from the flesh of this nut a little bit on the, the yellowed side, a little bit greenish, greenish yellow. It wasn't fully mature. And more than likely, there was a, an insect or a parasite that got in to the nut and the bird came along and didn't eat the whole nut. He just got that bug out for me. Well, that's one less bug that's gonna breed and populate the world tomorrow, next year. So, as long as the birds come along and they take care of my insect problems for me, I don't begrudge them a couple of nuts. It's kind of like paying them for their work. So as I'm passing by this hazelnut tree here on the way to the other pecan, I noticed, if you look right there, those are catkins. There's a couple more right here. And these catkins are the flowers of the hazelnut tree. This is a two-year-old tree. 
And because it's got those catkins on it, that means there's a good chance that next year, next fall, we'll see our first batch of hazelnuts from this tree right here. I think that's pretty cool. My grandfather ran a farm, 90 acres, years and years. They used to call it a, a truck farm. It was basically a market garden farm. He grew his, his corn and potatoes and beans and peas and tomatoes, and onions and all that good stuff for the market. The thing that always impressed me about Granddad's farm, though, is the pecan orchard. It was only a few acres, uh, two or three, maybe four, but it had quite a few pecan trees on it. And I always thought that it was mighty bright of him to get those planted early on because the, the profit that you can get from selling pecans is not insignificant. There's, that one's not quite ready, I don't think. I'll give that one another another few days let it open up the rest of the way there's a couple up there they're getting ready to drop I should be finding them on the ground here well if you got yourself some property and an acreage for set for example or uh, even a house first thing you want to do as soon as you get that place is start planting your trees they take a while to grow start seeing nuts out of the country 10 15 years you start getting a few maybe 50 pounds a year by 15 years old and more as time goes on by the time your loans paid off those trees will be producing a month or two of food a year if you take the time to pick it up oh, there's a web there dead branch. Make sure there's no cocoons in that. And get rid of these things. Save yourself a world of grief later. I guarantee it. So, picking your nuts and cracking them and, and throwing them in a jar, that's something you can do during your winter months, a little downtime activity. But if you're out here walking through your orchard or your yard and you've got a pecan tree, might find another two lying around. You got a way of cracking them here. I just take a little rock, put it right there in the palm of my hand, give her a squeeze. Depending upon how tough the shells are, you squeeze harder or softer. These are kind of a medium, so you don't have to be Hercules. But once you got it cracked all the way around, just sort of give that shell a wiggle and it comes free. And this is one that so it had a hole on it and it's a little on the yellow side, a little underripe. There we go. You can show those nuts out. Even right there. It's nice. It's a little underripe, but it's so sweet. Let me show that trick with the rock and the nut. You just put those together. And squeeze but if you happen to not have a rock that's okay just use two nuts all right put the two nuts in your hand just like so and if you have to you can use the other hand and push just like that if you don't overdo it, you can crack your nut all the way around just like that. Just like that. See, these are done. They just need to dry in a little bit more. It's still a little damp. Put this nut in the ground. Get a tree out of it. And you clean up that little brown stuff out of there. This little, this little membrane that's on the inside, make sure you get all of that out of there because it is bitter 
You don't want to eat that. You might have a, little, a few little spots on your nut. That's fine. No, there we go. Fresh pecan. Well, good people, that's all I've got for you again today. As always, if you found the video informative or entertaining, please hit the like button. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Subscribe to the channel. Bang that notification bell. Share this video. And good people, I will catch you next time.